Vikram Matthews. I work in Christian Medical College and Hospital in Velo in India. Uh, my main area of research interest is acute traumatic leukemia and myeloid malignancies and especially evaluation of microenvironment mediated drug resistance in leukemias. We've been working with arsenic trioxide for close to two decades now and we've generally been trying to improve our results. And one of the problems we had was with high-risk patients and relapsed patients with acute promalistic leukemia who did not do so well unless there was an intensification of therapy, especially an autologous transplant in relapsed patients. And as part of our evaluation comparing newly diagnosed and relapsed patients, we noted that there was a high increased expression of a number of, uh, in a gene expression profile study of a number of genes that are involved with adhesion and generally the microenvironments used to be turned on. And we could also demonstrate in vitro, both in a 2D system and a 3D system, a microenvironment mediated uh, drug resistance to arsenic trioxide. Similar to other groups, we sh we've shown that this is very strongly driven by NF-kappa B and that inhibitors of the NF-kappa B and of specific interest is bortisomib, which we had access to as an FDA approved drug, could actually overcome this uh, drug mediated uh, resistance. And that's one of the studies we did, and we did a fair amount of basic science and uh, animal models before we moved to a clinical trial. And the clinical trial that I'll be presenting at this ASH actually shows the benefit of combining bortisomib with arsenic trioxide in the management of a patient with relapsed APL. So based on our data, when we had compared newly diagnosed and relapsed patients, we did a series of experiments. And what stood out for us was microenvironment mediated drug resistance in an in vitro model on these patient samples. Uh, and it, was, it tended to be more in relapsed patients than in uh, newly diagnosed patients. And that's what led us to this uh, work. So for patients who are resistant to ATO, based on the work we've done and the clinical study that uh, I'm presenting, we would think that uh, anything that targets microenvironment mediated drug resistance, and what we have used is a proteasome inhibitor, and what was available to us was a drug called bortisomib, which is what we have used. And therefore we believe a combination of ATO, ATRA, and bortisomib will be a useful platform to deal with drug resistance and relapsed patients with APL. I really feel that the way there are a whole lot of other proteasome inhibitors out there which are actually far superior to bortisomib. And it's possible that this drug, which does not have so much myelotoxic effects, which is one of the attractions of using this agent, may be a useful drug to consider, a group of drugs to consider.